in a monochrome world Looking from the side through her lonely eyes It reflects the ocean and stars But her cry echoes around The simple loss of love in her heart Making this whole fairy tale alive and sorrows tender embrace This was never meant to happen The light of the day The only reason you have to stay Hear me sing my song And just keep holding on Hi everybody! <laughs> Waiting for that music to start playing. And hey, welcome back to the Real Phenomenon. What happened last time? My mother came back. Oh dear. I almost forgot. <laughs> We're gonna have to deal with this. Oh right, and we and we escaped. Okay. Mother came back and we escaped. When the light fades, we are back in the margin. Parfait is still on the ground, though, she, though now she seems like she might sink into it. Turn off my heater. Ugh. Lady Portflay! Sorry. I'll be fine, just call Rumple quickly. Well, it starts off from the room immediately. Guess we have a volunteer. Oh shit, our father! <laughs> father, please hold on. My father's clothes are now dyed a thick crimson that stains my hands and my dress. Not my dress. Moments later, Waltz returns with Rumple. He rushes over to the king the moment he sees him. Rumple tears my father's shirt open, revealing a deep wound on his chest. He quickly looks, look, looks over the body, then attempts to apply pressure to the wound, but the bleeding does not stop. He's dead. Why are we prolonging this? He's dead. <laughs> He's dead. Just, just get over it. Give me one second, I gotta do something. Okay, sorry about that. I had to make sure I wasn't blowing everybody's eardrums out as I was reading, because the last two Waltz episodes... My volume has been just so high. He quickly looks over his body, then attempts to apply pressure to the wound, but the bleeding does not stop. I've already read that. <laughs> he lost it. I feel like it's been forever since I've seen Rumple. I feel like I really need to move my mic just away from me. And not on an F8 key. I don't know where to put my microphone. I don't fucking know anymore. He's lost too much blood. <clears throat> Can't you do something? Pull some magic shit? I'll do my best, but there's only so much I can do, princess. You're a magic doctor! You should be able to do this! I cannot perform miracles. You sure? There's a faraway look in his eyes. He says that an almost pained expression on his face. His helplessness expre- uh, His helpless expression makes the panic surge in me again. You call yourself a doctor! Okay, that was uncalled for. <laughs> that was so uncalled for. Exo, calm down. I cannot lose him, Waltz. Do not have much time left, Sexto. Do not give me your dying words. I can't handle that right now. I turn to look down at my father, my eyes filling with tears. Nope. Nope. Not today. I'll finish this recording some other day. No, no, no. Don't say that, father. I wanted to see you become a queen, but it seems that this is the end for me. Stop it. I collapse beside father, and he reaches up, shaking a hand to touch on my wet cheek. Protect our kingdom. Ugh! I can only nod at him. I'll always be with you. Stop this. I love you, Sexto, and I'm proud that you are my daughter. Stop! Father smiles at me, and it is so genuine and warm that it brings fresh tears to my eyes. His eyes slowly close, but the smile never leaves his lips. I am so upset. <laughs> Father? I shake him, but he does not react. This is so... This is not how I wanted to start an episode. <laughs> With somebody dying. Positivity, guys. It's great. No. <laughs> no. I lean over my father, willing to him to come back to open his eyes, but he's no longer breathing. For the first time in my life, I cry for my father. Stop it. You heartless game. <laughs> you heartless game. Ever since my father's death, I have locked myself in my room. Well, that doesn't seem like the thing to do. You gotta avenge his ass. I am filled with constant grief and pain, but I become numb on the inside. Even when I want to cry, the tears won't come. No. Go away. 
Sexto, I brought you something to eat. If, if it's not McDonald's, I don't want it. I'm in no mood to eat. Walt sits the tray down and walks towards me. The blankets crumple as he sits down beside me. I don't know why that screwed me up so bad. Slowly, he wraps his arm around me and strokes my hair. Oh, oh he's so close. <laughs> what happened wasn't your fault, Sexto. He did what any father would do for his daughter. What? What did he do? As far as I know, he got hit by... He... If I'm remembering this correctly... She came back. Her mother came back. And the first thing she did was whap him with a good lightning bolt. She Zeused him or something. He didn't really do anything to- Okay, you know what? Nope. <laughs> also, you guys told me how to pronounce her name in the comments. I thank you for that, but I'll forever call her Hillary. <laughs> Cause I just- Her name sounds so stupid. <laughs> it just sounds so stupid. He did not deserve to die the way that he did. By mother's hand. I know. I curl my fingers into Waltz's shirt. I don't want to lose any, any, anyone anymore, Waltz. Well, we might have to lose your mother again. Waltz continues stroking my hair. Is it soft, Waltz? I'm using a new conditioner. <laughs> in reality, I haven't washed it in three days. It'll be fine, I promise. Now take a shower, for God's sakes. For now, you need to rest, Sexto. I'll be here by your side until you fall asleep. Turn the light off. He plants a kiss on... Are we apparently a thing now? <laughs> when... When did we... When did we profess our love to each other again? When did that happen? I, I can't quite remember. Am I just... Am I just having amnesia? Or did this not happen? And I close my eyes, relishing his warmth. What the... When did I fall in love with this boy? Walt holds his firm, but... Walt holds his firm, but comfortable. And I sink into his arms as I fall into a dreamless sleep. Days later, the palace announces father's death, and isn't, it isn't long before Alcaster is given his crown. Oh, no, it's actually happened. The announcement of the accession comes with an explanation of the king's death. The palace paints me as a criminal, telling the townsfolk that I was the one who killed the king. <laughs> You're just so mad. I'm labeled a fugitive, and the royal family is officially declared missing. Fuck. We have all been in hiding since then, the royal family included. Oh, right, the royal family is here with us, right? Now it's been two weeks since father died. The longer time moves on, the more aware I become of one gaping realization. Mother has not yet shown herself to the public. I don't know how the public could handle that. What could she be plotting? I place my hand over my heart, willing the pain away. Every time I think of mother, I remember the sort of light that went through my father's body. <laughs> Enough time has passed, even though I am suffering I am suffering losses. Losses? I cannot stand idle. I have to I have a promise to fulfill. You gotta save the kingdom. I will protect our kingdom. I'm about to go back to my room and a parfait calls me. Dolores stands beside her. I haven't seen Dolores in forever. How you doing, Mom? Sexto, can we talk with you? <laughs> let's just let's all just be thankful that Parfait is still alive. <laughs> let's all just be thankful that she still lives to this day. I look away, avoiding their eyes. What is it that you two want to discuss with me? It's about the Tenebrarum. Brarum. Brarum. <laughs> Despite Hillary's revival, it appears that the crystal's light is still dim. I can only mean one thing. She is weak! Still weak? She was absorbing all of your powers when we found you. We interrupted the process. The crystal was not able to absorb all of the magic you now possess. That's why she's still weak. Can she stay weak? Also, there was something else that bothered me about the crystal. Something odd. Yes? Odd. A bear has been a very strong bond with the crystal. A mutual relationship of sorts. But that bond was absent when she returned. Probably because she used it for evil deeds. What are you saying? It seems as if the crystal's forsaking their bond. <gasps> you dirty cheater, Crystal. What? It seems even the crystal knows that Hillary's time has come and gone. Princess, the crystal has already chosen you as its next bearer. Bitch, we have a... What? Lily, do you hear that noise? What was I saying? We have the upper hand. 
we go. It's a small blessing, but it doesn't change the fact that Hillary is still the strongest witch. Dolora? <laughs> Bitch, please. At least that is what she wants us to think. Parfait and Dolora exchange a glance. The crystal has chosen its next bear, and you have just as much potential, if not even more. So you, so you gotta teach me the magic. We gotta get to the crystal. Destroy her. Dolora turns to me, her usual lax expression more solemn. Are you ready to learn magic, Sexto? Magic that you'll potentially use to defeat your mother? God, what a story. <laughs> I'm coming for you, Mom. I have never used magic before in my life. I've never even been raised as a witch and using magic to defeat mother? Boy. I do not know. You have a choice! Oh, they're surprised. Well, regardless of what decision you make, we'll be here to support you. Dolores and I want you to know that. How is it they're still willing to help me when I was the one that caused this whole mess? True. True. I need some fresh air. I begin to walk toward the door when I see Ophelia walk in front of the tap walk in from the tavern. Girl, you still haven't changed clothes. Our eyes briefly meet and she opened her mouth to say something, then stops when I shake my head. Come on, Ophelia looks like she could be the best mom. I do not want her to blame me for my father's death. Certainly that must be what she's thinking. Ophelia frowns and does not speak. I quicken my pace. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm allergic to Ophelia. <sighs> that gang sound was me trying to reach for a fucking tissue before I sneezed another planet till I sneezed an alien into this world. I quickened my pace, almost running as I head into the forest. See you later. He has a fugitive. A fu fug How did I just say that? Fugitive. Just just running. Doesn't sound it's not suspicious at all. The night is silent and calm, and the only sound I can hear is a gentle sway of the grass as I step through it. Mother is back because of me. If I hadn't revived her, father would still be alive. Well, honestly, I know she couldn't have known this, but he, he would have died either way. Because <laughs> Mythros would have killed him if she didn't do it, and he died because of her. She couldn't have- Sexto couldn't have known that, but he died either way, so it kind of sucks. <laughs> it kind of sucks. How am I supposed to face everyone knowing that? Walt has been trying to cheer me up. While I appreciate his company and concern, even he cannot help me come to terms with my mistakes. We need karma. I hear footsteps behind me. I turn to see Walt approaching with a frown on his face. No, we only see smiles today. Sexto. We need karma. <laughs> Please, I'm not in the mood to listen to your reassurance again. I just forgot I was wearing makeup and rubbed my eye. I must look like a raccoon now. I do not need you to tell me again that it was not my fault when it was. Sexto, your father wouldn't want you to see you like this. I'm gonna slap you. How would you know what my father wanted? I feel like Walt knows him better than you do, honestly. My dog just scared the living shit out of me. I snap at him without meaning to, not bothering to hide the irritation in my voice. God, my heart just went... My heart just went out my mouth, hit the roof, and then came back. Why? <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> He'd want you to walk forward, not linger on the past that cannot be changed. It can be changed if we reload, right? You've been distancing yourself from us since the king passed. Don't think that I haven't noticed. Why is that? Why do you think I'm grieving? Gosh darn it. Because this is the only way I can keep them safe. Uh, oh, right. I have a guide. <laughs> we are chapter 7, right? 6, 7. Dots? Oh, we're at the end of chapter 7. Holy shit. Dutes. Wanna, wanna see my dutes? You know that I'll always be by your side, Sexto. Shouldering the burden will only worsen your pain. <laughs> worsen? I already know the pain of losing someone that I love. <laughs> I'm allergic to grief. It gives me the hiccups. I haven't brought. Uh, I have brought nothing but suffering to those around me. I cannot get close to anyone again, lest I put them in danger. I've already lost my father, and I don't want to lose anyone else. 
Hey, Parfait is still alive. Especially not you, Walt. Magic diamond. Walt's eyes widen as he stares that stares at me. Dudes. I keep hearing noises. I think I'm being haunted by ghosts. Okay. I want to show you something. Please, not a puppet show. I beg you not. Keep your eyes open, Sexto. You can't miss it. Don't blink! Walt snaps his fingers and a golden orb of light suddenly springs to life around us. <sighs> Why am I out of breath? <laughs> Just so out of breath. I can only marvel at the orbs of light floating around us. They look like stars dancing through the night. Little fairies. <laughs> it's beautiful. Here, for, for all you fans out there, enjoy this. You cannot truly appreciate how- <laughs> Fuck off, Discord. <laughs> you cannot truly appreciate how bright a star is without darkness. Who said that? Walt said that, sorry. I said that in a more girly voice than I should've. Walt snaps his finger- Sorry. Walt snaps his fingers again and most of the lights go out. Why would you do that? During difficult times, the light grows dimmer. He snaps again until only one light remains. When you're all alone, it grows even dimmer still. There are things that you cannot do on your own, otherwise you risk snuffing your own light out. Snuffing? Snuffing? Gosh, that's bright. Oh, my game is lagging. My visual novel game is lagging. Go away, Chrome. <laughs> just, just in case. Another snap and the golden orbs return. This time, in great numbers, the lights are brighter than they were before. You're not alone, Sexto. I love you, and it hurts to see you suffer alone like this. Oh, I'm of legal age now, isn't that great? <clears throat> my heart is pounding so hard, I fear I might it might escape my chest, like mine just did a minute ago. In this moment, it feels as if time has stopped, and it's just the two of us. All I can see is Walt. As I stand here, staring at him, I come to a realization. I love him. Wow, finally figured it out! <laughs> when did this happen? Why is my game lagging? After a few moments, I realize that it does not matter. I stand up on the tips of my toes so I can cup Walt's- I can't reach you! Cup Walt's face in my hands. I move before I can think, leaning over to a place a light kiss on his lips. Almost tripping. Almost falling over. Oh, dear God! I got two CGs! Oh! You're beautiful. Look how beautiful you all are. Man, she must be standing on a stool. <laughs> I feel an arm around me as Waltz pulls me closer. The kiss becomes more heated and I feel a gentle flame stirring in my stomach. Even my mind becomes foggy. <coughs> I feel his tongue in my lips, but when I part them, he has suddenly drawn, drawn away. His face deeper red. You're too young for tonguing. Stop that. Oh, look at the animation in the background. Isn't that special? Sorry, I needed to catch my breath. Dude, I'm out of breath too. Don't worry, it's okay. I feel the heat in my cheeks and have to fight back the embarrassment. My embarrassment. I just kissed Walt. Walt, Waltz, Waltz. What is your name, boy? I look up at Walt, suddenly realizing how close he is to me. I quickly bury my face into his chest to hide my embarrassment. He's such a big boy. I'm so happy. Walt's chest rises and falls with his gentle laughter. You're... Oh, 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 oh you're so beautiful. <laughs> I can't... God damn it. <laughs> Why can't every guy be like Waltz? Just so cool. He's all handsome. Jesus. You're so cute. You're so great. I <laughs> you met me in a relationship would be the ho most horrible thing. You're so adorable. Oh, you're great. Yeah, that'd be me. <laughs> Never. Don't, don't get into a relationship. May you'll screw it up so bad. <laughs> I close my eyes, allowing his warmth to envelop me like a blanket warm blanket. Oh god, I thought he was gonna say little sister. I was just gonna flip my shit. I love you, my little star. That's just a random nickname. He's never, like, he started calling me that one day and it's just it's there now. This is not just your battle anymore, Sexto. You don't have to carry this burden alone. I won't. I'll bring all the fairies with me. So please trust me. Trust in us. Who's us? I'm overwhelmed, but Waltz's words may make, make me feel strangely light. As if weight has truly been lifted from my shoulders. I will. Thank you. Out of breath. I should go back now or else everyone might get worried. 
We. We. We are a team now. There is no I in we. Waltz places a soft kiss on my forehead and smiles at me as he pulls away. No, come back. He extends a hand toward me. Let's go, my little- Stop that nickname! It's so random! I hate cutesy nicknames. Make it stop. I smile as I slowly take his hand. I like princess because that's what we are. We walk back to the march in hand in hand, momentarily forgetting about all the bad things that have tra tra transpired. Is chapter seven over? Chapter eight, bitches! I was so engulfed for it. Oh, it's 18 minutes. I think I'm going to end it here since we can start the next episode right on chapter 8. So I'm going to do that. Uh, <laughs> that was... Man, this episode's been wild. Her father died. We fell in love. I can't breathe. <laughs> I'm running out of breath because I'll be like in the middle of a sentence and then I'll be like, Wait, I must commentate. I must make a comment on this sentence and then keep going on the same fucking breath. Man, my lung. My lungs are great. Anyway, I will see you guys. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye. -bye.